Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to show you how to make tissue paper flowers. Now I really like this project because the flowers are three dimensional and you can change the size and appearance of each of those, but also the materials are really affordable. All you need is tissue paper, tape, and scissors. And then the other thing I really like about this is that they are pretty simple and easy and quick to make. So you can end up with a whole bunch of these in a very short amount of time. So get your materials ready and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by just using one color. Uh, this will be just a solid white flower to start with. Um, and then we will introduce two colors. And then from there, you can add three or more colors to your flowers. So to start with, we're just gonna fold it in half. And I've got two of the big sheets of tissue paper here. So then we'll fold it in half again. Then I'm going to take the corner where there's all these loose corners here, there's not any folds, and I'm going to fold it into a diagonal. The point of all this is so that we have a square once this part is trimmed. So trim that edge off there. Alright, so then you want to look and see if there are any other folds along seams. And if you do have those, just slide your scissors in and cut those. individual pieces they're squares okay so you should have eight keep them stacked up together all right and then you're just gonna accordion fold them so maybe about an inch where you fold down Try to keep them even. If they're more than an inch, that's fine. If they're less than an inch, it's okay. Uh, you just want them to be even. All right, once you have that last fold in, um, if you have pipe cleaners, then use those. I don't have any, so I'm just going to be using tape, but I did find um, a couple of these little twist ties, you know, from a bread bag. Um, you can use that to secure it. You can staple it in the middle. And that should hold it. You just want to be able to secure it right there in the middle uh, so that the pieces don't unravel. Okay? All right. Next part is to cut the tips of your flowers. So this one we're just gonna do a basic like rounded edge. Um, so start down off the side. And just trim off those square tip edges. And the same thing on this side. All you're gonna do is separate one half and I would recommend just working in halves um, and get this first side completely separated and fluffed out so you're gonna go one at a time and just lightly pulling up I know a lot of times we tend to rush through this part because we just want to get it done and see how it looks 
but it's very easy to tear. And you're just going to start fluffing out all of these. Okay, and once you're done with this half, you'll move on to the second half. Uh, pulled apart and separated uh, just go around and see where you might be able to tug a little bit over to hide some of those seams maybe you push it down if you don't like the shape of it um, but you can just get it however you want it to look separate it at the top maybe or make it a little bit tighter um, I don't know but if you did have pipe cleaners that's where this would really come in handy because the pipe cleaner could just be the stem um, I am going to be using these paper straws and I will just tape or hot glue the little twisty tie in there and you should have a nice little little flower. Alright, so stay here and we will work on making the two layer or double colored flowers. Alright, so for this flower we're going to use two different colors. We have this light pink and this darker magenta or red color. Um, again, we have two pieces of each of those because it will end up making enough for two different flowers and we'll just reverse uh, dark on the inside and light on the outside for one and then we will reverse it so it's light on the inside and dark on the outside for the other. Alright, so we're going to do the same steps. Fold it in half. Take that corner with all the free edges and bring it down to the opposite side. So it creates a triangle. Now all of these that I'm making so far are the same size. They're about 9 or 10 inches square. Um, but keep your scraps because you can make smaller flowers as well to kind of fill out if you want to make a bouquet or something like that. But you can make smaller ones uh, and create almost like a wreath or something like that. But don't throw away your scraps because you can always use them. Alright, so then find the seam. other seams that you might have. Okay, so for this flower I'm going to take, let's see, total eight. Um, let's do two dark ones on the inside and then you'll have six light ones for the outside. And that'll be our first one that we make. And we'll just set these off to the side and that'll be the second one. Alright, so I don't have any more twist ties. Again, just remember to do the... Accordion fold. Yeah, so I don't have any more twist ties. Um, so I'm just going to use a piece of tape for the center to hold it together. But again, if you have a rubber band or staples, um, I don't know what else. Anything really that can you can wrap around or punch through the middle to help hold those pieces together as you're pulling them apart. That will work. If you're going to use tape like I am, try to find a clear tape. And even if you find a clear tape or a scotch tape, uh, maybe try to trim the width of it so it's not you know an inch or a half inch thick it's going to be really super thin um, so there's my tape well, I'll just make it a little bit just 
just in case. And I'm going to cut it in half with paws. So it's really thin now. Just make sure you get it in the middle because you cannot readjust the tape like you would a twist tie or a rubber band or something like that. That would be really good. All right, so there's also a couple different kinds of tips that you can create. Um, we already did the rounded one, so um, let's try maybe more of one that is like a little bit more pointed. And you can see the different kinds of tips and how they create different looking flowers. All right, and then I'm just going to start pulling these apart. Um, I do want to start with the dark facing up that way I know it will be on the inside uh, because I have fewer pieces. I want that to kind of be like the middle part of the flower there. All right guys, so you can see that here is just two flowers already with different shaped tips. Um, and hopefully you can see the difference that it makes um, in their overall appearance. And for this pink and red one, again, the straw is just kind of taped in there. If you have a hot glue gun or something that's a little bit stronger, then you can use that. But, I mean, this really isn't going to go anywhere. Alright, so I'll just straighten it up a little bit and we'll start to put them together. So I still have eight sheets of paper in here because I'm going to have eight total squares. But I've got three different colors um, just because this is what I had. So it's, let's see, there's two sheets of white, three sheets of light blue, and three sheets of this aqua turquoise color. All right, so it's going to be the same process except for like when we fold it. We're just going to take one corner. opposite corner again we're creating that triangle so that once we cut the edge or this extra off here then we'll have a square and you can use any color combinations that you have available um, and these came in like a big rainbow pack and then I had a pack of white and a pack of the white pink already on hand so um, I always have a bunch of extra tissue paper because I refuse to wrap presents I just buy bags and put tissue paper in them. Um, I'm just I'm not a fan of wrapping presents. Sorry. <laughs> People who get presents from me you just get a bag of tissue paper. Okay so here we go we're going to accordion fold it, tape it, and then we'll start to pull it apart um, and you can see how big the flower will be.
size comparison here. Um, I don't know if you can see how big these two are compared to each other. This was the first one that we did. Um, and then this was the almost full sheet of tissue paper. And you can see this one would almost fit inside it to create almost like a little insert right there if you wanted, uh, just to fill it in some more. Um, or not. Again, this one has three different colors. You can do that a little bit easier because it's not all going to be crammed into a smaller piece for space. And just keep fluffing it till you get it right. But again, these are really good for hanging on walls um, as opposed to making a bouquet or something smaller. All right. that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that and you were able to follow along and create some of your own flowers. Again, it's a really great project for any of you students that are stuck at home or even anyone who's looking for some last minute Mother's Day gifts, uh, which is on Sunday. So make sure you try this out. See if you like it. Try different color combinations. And if you do any of these at home, send them to me. I'd love to see it. All right. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.